Hall and police officers. The police chief is now offering an apology to his rank and file. It's a story we told you about earlier this week as letters were going back and forth in the dispute over pay raises for police. Some say that the police chief went too far. KTVU's Jade Hernandez live in San Jose tonight where that chief is now taking a softer tone. Jade? Well, that's right. The acting chief here at headquarters is trying to dispel any intimidation rumors. In a letter he wrote the department, he assures officers there will be no backlash for notes sent to city leaders regarding contract negotiations. As the city and the police officers association union continue to haggle, it's residents and business owners who just want more protection on the street, however they get it. This is kind of part of the theater, I would say. A San Jose police helicopter hovered above in the sky. Another workday that went by without any progress between police and the city. It's tough to negotiate if you're not actually sitting down and talking. Albeit not at a bargaining table, San Jose Police Officer Association's Jim Unlin sat and listened to the city's mayor on talk radio today. We're trying to give them money. We put it on the table. There are no strings attached. The Police Officers Association says not true. Unlin points to the city's latest proposal, which includes a reopener clause. If they lose Measure B in the trials at the end of this year, they want to be able to force us back to the negotiations table and into arbitration over that. We will not agree to that language. Almost a month ago, an officer-involved chase sped through 11th and East Santa Clara, ending only after the squad car, after a parolee, slammed into a tree nearby. Many, many crimes. Uh, is happening around this area. The owner of Savings Mini Mart does what he can to protect himself, which is why he wanted to hide his identity. By the time that the respond is here, the crime is already done. The city spokesman knows there's frustration. It's been months since we sat down at the table, so if we can get back to it next week, that would be terrific. As for the letter that the city sent the police officers union today, the union told me just about 30 minutes ago it plans to respond by Monday. Reporting live in San Jose tonight, Jade Hernandez, KTVU, Channel 2 News.